Chelsea have spent over half a billion pound on players this season and they are 10th in the league. What is going on at that club? But they aren't going to be 10th for long because I'm now taking charge of Chelsea Football Club and by the end of the video, they will be the best team in the world. But when you take a look at the team, on paper, it is absolutely amazing and full of high potential players, but in real life, it is bang average at best. But having said that, I feel like the best way to approach this is to build the team around Jao Felix, which means that a lot of players are going to be sold. And we have got 143 million. However, due to the fact they've already spent half a billion this season, we aren't going to spend a penny in season one. But I did sell Hakim Ziyech for 39.7 million, Christian Pulisic for 52.7 million, Kai Havertz for 74.8 million, and finally Pierre-Emerick waste of space for 21.4 million. And with the team looking like this, full of high potential youngsters and overall quality, we are now ready for the Premier League. And our first game of the season was against Bournemouth. And uh, spotted that run from Mudrik. Modric has got the pace, and he gets first goal for Chelsea, and he has made his first goal for Chelsea, a pretty goddamn good one. And there it is, one goal separates ourselves from Bournemouth, not the most convincing win you'll ever see, however, it's a new team with new players, hopefully as the season progresses, they'll actually gel as a team and perform way better than that. And after four games, we've got four wins under about 12 points, it's not a bad start at all. And we are of course in the Champions League in Group E with the following teams, and realistically, we should be going through to the round of 16. First up was AC Milan. But against the bigger teams, we definitely struggled. Florenzi. Florenzi. Oh, he still kept it somehow. Oh, my days. That's a shocking goal to concede. What are we playing at? And in the second half, Milan put the game to bed. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. Leo's just made it 2-0. Boys. I don't think we're good enough against the bigger teams yet. There's the full-time whistle for this game. A 2-0 loss in the first game of the Champions League. If we play like that against the big teams in this competition, we are going to get embarrassed. But our form in the Premier League was absolutely amazing. As 15 games into the season, we were first place by three points. However, in the group stage, we found ourselves third place and looking like we were heading out of the competition. On top of that, Ben Chilwell and Edward Mendy are both out injured for two months. Man, it ain't going our way, is he? And our final game of the group stage was against RB Salzburg. It was all or nothing at this point. But after 15 minutes, we went 1-0 down. Oh, no, RB Salzburg are through. Oh, my God. Days. What is wrong with this team in Champions League? Conceding that goal certainly lit a fire in our players. Jao Felix, can he spot that ball to Brohar? Brohar's through. He's taking it around the defender. He's one on one with the keeper. Can he make it 1 0? Finally, we get back in the game. Jao Felix, can he spot Brohar once again? Brohar. He's on his own once again. He's done the defender for pace, though. Oh, that's so unlucky. Modric, he spotted that ball over to Madweke. Madweke, he's all on his own. What the hell, ref? That's a pen, surely. Modric, has he got the pace? I think he does. He's got the pace. He's turned his de defender inside out. Joe Felix. No, my days. What do we have to do? And after many attempts at goal, we finally found a way through. Enzo Fernandez, he sees that ball into Madweke. What a goal! And he puts us 2 1 up. There we have you, ladies and gentlemen. We have made it through to the round of 16, but we need to play better than that. Otherwise, we are going to get our arses handed to us. And halfway through the season, we still remain top of the table, two points clear of Tottenham Hotspur. And in the round of 16, we'll face off against Juve. But if I'm being honest, there's still a player I'd like to sell from this team. And I did just that by selling Raheem Sterling for 89.2 million. All we need to do is get this team gelling, and I'm telling you, in a couple of seasons' time, this team is winning everything. But next up, we had a serious test in Juventus in the first leg of the round of 16. And it was clear that Juve were on another level to us. Lamont, Slam Rabio, oh, Vlavic. Oh, no, 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 he's giving him way too much space there, Vlavic. Makes it 1 0 to Juve, it's been coming. Rabio, oh, no, Rabio spotted that ball to Vlavic, and Vlavic. Is never missing from there. We are 2 0 down, and it definitely isn't looking good for us at the minute. And that's full time. 2 0 down after the first leg. We are going to need a miracle to go to the quarterfinals. And in the Premier League, we're now second place, one point behind first place Tottenham Hotspur. It's beginning to fall apart everywhere for us this season. And like I said, guys, we're going to need a miracle to get ourselves into the quarterfinals. So let's see if the boys in blue have got what it takes to overthrow. Oh, my days. Our Champions League genie's being cut short. I told you guys, though, we were going to come short when it comes to the bigger teams. Now, our full focus has got to be the Premier League. 
And after a string of incredible performances, we find ourselves top of the league at the end of the season. We have officially won the Premier League. But take a look at some of these stats, man. Armando Broja, 21 goals. Mad Wake, 15 goals. Hal Felix, 13 goals. Some of these guys had a really good season. But now that we've actually won the Premier League, the next thing on my agenda, the Champions League. And as we start season two, this is what we are working with right now. The team looks amazing. However, if we want to win the Champions League, it definitely needs improvement in certain areas. And we've got just over a quarter billion to spend, so we are spending big. So I brought Tammy Abraham for 52.8 million. Fakaro Tomori makes a return to Chelsea for 80.8 million. And I brought in Mark Magnan for 96.8 million. And as you can see, the starting 11 is strong as an ox. We've got decent squad depth on the subs bench. We are ready for the Champions League. And we are in Group D with the following teams. And I think personally, with the team that we've built, we should be wiping the floor with this group. And our first challenge was against Bayer Leverkusen, but in all honesty, it wasn't much of a challenge. Madweke, he's through. Madweke, he's taking everybody on. Oh, what a finish from Madweke. Oh, look at that for a bit of play. Tammy Abraham puts it into the bottom right corner and we are flying in this game. And just as I thought we would, we ran right in this group. Wake, he's waiting for options. He sees Tammy Abraham clear in the middle. And Tammy Abraham, he's got Mudrick with him, and he's going to use him, and we make it 1-0. Torrey Pleasant can't handle Madweke. He sees Tammy Abraham once again, and he's clearing a path, and he's going to put it top right bins. Madweke sees Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham, acres of room, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, top right bins, and he is sending us straight to the freaking round of 16. And as expected, six wins out of six, we cruise to the next round of this competition, where we'll now face off against Atletico Madrid. And all things considered, we not doing too bad in the Premier League either. But next up was the first leg against Atletico Madrid and it couldn't have gone any better. Madweke is away. Madweke, he's got options and he's going to use him and he has just made it 1-0. Joao Felix against his former club as well. He's got acres of room. He's all on his own. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper and he has made it 2-0 to us. Joao Felix sees that run. Madweke sees Tammy Abraham in the middle. He's taking a beautiful first touch. And Tammy Abraham is an absolute animal. He has made it 3-0. And it's looking like we are through to the quarters regardless. And after wiping the floor with Athletic Madrid, we meet up against AC Milan in the quarterfinals. But this time, we are a far better team. Reese James on the free kick. Can he put this into the top right corner of the goal? Oh my god. Reese James. Take a bow, lad. Back to Madweke. Madweke is going to cut inside. He's got so much space. Oh, look at the space he's opened up for him. <laughs> he is just like that. Made it 2-0 inside 15 minutes. Madweke is spotted. Joao Felix to make it 3-0. Of course he was going to make it 3-0. We are running right against Milan. On top of that, we are eight points clear at the top of the table in the Premier League. It looks like we are definitely on for the double. And we're now in the semi-finals against Inter Milan. Line and we're already 2-1 up after the first leg. Tommy Abraham, he sees that. Oh, look at that. Joe Felix is wide open. And already in this game, we have made it 1-0. 3-1 up on aggregate. One step closer to the final. But Inter Milan, we're definitely not going down without a fight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. But early in the second half, we got a second. Oh, look at this for play. Cucurella's on side. Cucurella, he sees Tommy Abraham in the middle. Easy as that. And we make it 2-1 again. Surely we have just killed the game. And then in the 75th minute, we secured our place in the final. Mudrik through to Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham is away. And he has absolutely rifled that into the bottom right corner of the goal. And he has put us into the Champions League final. And we'll be facing off against Juventus for a chance to lift that trophy. But the question is, can this star-studded team lift that trophy for the third time in Chelsea's history? Let's find out. Juve absolutely dominated the game and didn't make anything easy for us. Paul Pogba, oh no. Correa, he's made it. Oh, what a save from freaking Magnan. Chiesa, oh my lord, what a ball that is to Ravalli. And pff, oh my god, no. No, Chiesa. Oh my days, what a save from Magnan, man. In the second half, the game was more even, but neither team could find a way to score. Madweke to Tammy Abraham. Tammy Abraham inside. Joe Felix. Joe Felix sees that run from Mudrik. Mudrik on his right foot. Can he make it 1 0? No way. Oh no, Marco Royce. He's gone through. Oh my god, what a save from Magnan. Enzo Fernandez. Looking for spit. Oh my god. What do we have to do to score? But then this happened. Oh, look at this. 
Reese James, Reese James. Oh, look at this. It's found space. Finally, 75 minutes it's taken us, but Mudrick has found a way to get past Chesney and he's made it 1-0 in the Champions League final for us. And that one goal was all that we needed to beat Juve in the Champions League final. We have just won Chelsea, their third Champions League trophy, and I cannot believe we've done it this way. And if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy this video right here. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button right here as well.